hi there, and guess where I went? I went to the Dollar Tree. They're just starting to put out a lot of their spring and Easter things, so I couldn't resist just going in there and taking a little peek. Um, these are some of the things I've got in the past. They're wooden trucks. I made this into a little flower truck, and I have a video on this if you want to learn how to make it, and it's actually very simple, and of course, I take you step by step. Here's a candle holder I made using mulberry paper, and I got this also at the Dollar Tree. And you know, I got a DIY to show you how to make that as well. Now, if you want to see these projects and other ones, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, Decoupage DIY with Joe Marie Domino. Share this with your friends. Give me a thumbs up and I would love to get some comments from you and you can see many, many more things. And you know what? If you get notifications, you'll see the newest things I did. All right, I'm going to start out with these laser cut wood. I've never seen these before. They did have other ones besides the ones that I got. Those were stars. Um, these are the really pretty butterflies. They're so intricate. I um, They're really, really nice. I have to think of something to do with these. Um, hearts and keys. And I would say the keys were my absolute favorite. I have some projects in mind for that one. And then they had some owls. And again, look at the detail in those. I found these styrofoam bunnies there and they're really large compared to the other ones they have. And just because they're styrofoam doesn't mean that we can't decoupage because of course we can. So I can't wait to play around with that bunny. Speaking of bunnies, I was so happy to see these bunnies back on the shelves. And of course, I grabbed a few more of those. And I do have a couple projects for them. While I was there, I came across some books like this one, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, which of course is a very cute story. But when I looked inside, I couldn't believe how beautiful the illustrations were, and these soft colors. And I thought, you know, for a dollar, actually a dollar 25, to remember the prices have gone up, we can definitely take these images out and do different decoupage projects with them. So if you see some of these books at the Dollar Tree, make sure you grab one or two. They're so pretty. I picked up a few more of their wooden shapes. They have the chick and the egg. And by the way, the egg, I have a video on making signs with them. The nice thing about these is they come painted already. When I came across these plastic eggs, um, they're so pretty. To me, they almost look like glass. I have to find a project to use these. I finally found some of these beads. I had been looking and looking, and they finally came onto the shelves of my Dollar Tree store. These also came back onto the Dollar Tree store, my Dollar Tree. I love them with the little windows. Then I found one of these. This is just so handy to have, so it's not really for crafting, just for me. I love these signs. I was happy to see um, they were back in stock because they are really easy to transform. I was really happy to find these. These are styrofoam eggs and usually they're covered in glitter and paint. Now I can make them any color I want. Oh, and I did find another set of the beads in the other color. This one has a chick. The other one had a little bunny. So I was glad I was able to get both of those colors. I did pick up a couple more of their metallic pens because I have a, a project I'm kind of kicking around in my head that I want to show you. So hopefully I'll be getting to that soon. I was also very happy to see these eggs. I really love them. They come in several different colors. They look wood, you know, they have those little lines to make them look like a sign. And I have some ideas for these. Um, they're so pretty and I was able to get them in all three colors, the yellow, the pink, and the blue. I love these little wooden shapes they have now. And you know, the chick, you can flip it over and it can look in either direction. See, just flip them over, look and right, look and left, gives you options. I did get the carriage and I have used them in projects already. So I hope you saw those videos. And of course, since it's Easter, I picked up some eggs too. And while I was looking through the wood, I did pick up some of the chicks. And you know what? I did a really cute DIY using these chicks with napkins and Mod Podge. Take a look. My bonus project. And I'm using these little wooden shapes. I got them from the Dollar Tree. They're like their Easter spring collection. I'm going to be using the iron-on method. All right, here's my chick. I already gave it a coat of white paint. And I'm going to put on some Mod Podge. I'm going to squirt some on. 
and that is probably more than I needed to put on there. This is a small ornament, so I'm going to have to very carefully spread all of that Mod Podge around so I get a nice even coat like that. Okay, so I'm going to take the napkin, okay? I'm not waiting for it to dry, okay? I'm skipping a whole step, and I'm going to lay it right on top of the chick. I'm going to very gently smooth it with my fingers. Okay, now I'm going to take a plastic bag. This isn't saran wrap. It's heavier. I'm going to say like a Ziploc, and I'm going to smooth it with my fingers because this bag is protecting the napkin as well because, you know, the napkin is wet from the Mod Podge. I'm going to very carefully remove it. Okay, we'll put that aside. Let's take a look. Okay, there's our little chicky. Okay, that's wet, so I'm going to put that off to the side. It has to dry. So I have some already done these are completely dry and i'm ready to go on to the next step which is to iron it okay i'm skipping a whole nother step and remember this is good for small things like these ornaments okay so i'm just going to do the same thing i do with um iron on it's got the parchment on top and i'm going to run the iron over so the glue melts let's take a look oh look how pretty that is okay let's go on to the carrot same thing and by the way, I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs. They have tons of napkins. You can go to their website, www.vippies.com, see everything they have. They also have a Facebook page and they have an Instagram. I post things there and they always post their newest napkins. So it's always fun to see the new stuff. Okay. And then we're going to go over this one. I love using up my napkin scraps like this. It's the little bunny. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's a little bunny. Okay, so let's go to the egg. That one's completely cooled off now. I love that butterfly. And I'm going to use my nail file, and I'm going to remove all the extra napkin that's along the edge with a downward stroke. This is a great way to do it. The edge is nice and clean and smooth. And with a napkin, it's so thin and sheer, it's really easy to do with a nail file. Just want to go all the way around the egg until you get all of it off okay look at that oh it feels so nice i did a couple more of the chicks the ones i just got i did them the same way i painted them white i put on a coat of mod podge and i used a couple of beautiful napkins i got from vippy's designs i love them the yellow daffodils i thought they went along so nicely with the chicks i'm gonna hold it up so you can see and i did put on a couple of coats of mod podge extreme glitter in this Mod Podge formula, the glitter is right inside. You can go over anything you do, and you don't have to worry about the glitter falling off. So nice. Well, that's my haul for the day, and I really hope that you like. I'm doing a little DIY along with my hauls from the Dollar Tree. You asked me to do this. You said, Joan, don't just give me an idea. Show me what you did. So I decided to start adding that into my videos. If you want to see more projects like this pickup truck, this is not hard to do. I've got a video on that, and I just did this sign. I got everything from the Dollar Tree. Look how pretty that is, um, including that little carrot you see up there but the napkin that came from vippy's designs decoupage napkin shop so please subscribe share with your friends give me a thumbs up and you know you can always leave a comment i try to answer all my comments if you've been going to my youtube page you know that thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you soon